name is Ken Thompson. I'm a senior product marketing manager for Microsoft Azure, and I look after open source DevOps. Uh, so, work really closely with um, the chef of the company and chef of the community to make sure chef products and tools and projects work really great on Azure. Whether you're doing it on a small scale or a, on a hyperscale, uh, the ability to to automate is fundamental to cloud adoption uh, and having successful cloud adoption. Um, and you know, pairing tools, uh, tool suites like Chef Automate and the open source projects um, with the flexibility and availability of cloud resources and on Azure is just a great fit for customers. The nice thing about the Chef technology for customers is they can apply a, a standardized automation both in Azure on uh, anything that they're migrating or net new deployments, uh, but uh, they can also apply the same tool set processes and methodology to their uh, existing investments. Uh, I think that's super appealing to customers to have um, consistency in terms of how they manage uh, disparate environments. We've got Chef Automate is available uh, both in Azure and Azure Stack uh, for customers running Azure Stack on premise. Uh, so that's that's kind of the main starting point of how they can consume Chef products. We've then got we've got Visual Studio Code, and there's a bunch of great Chef extensions for Visual Studio Code, which is our open source, uh, lightweight cross-platform code editor, and they're all community con contributions. So Inspec is is super easy for customers to get started with. It's human readable, definable language to create your test, but more importantly, it's uh, it's also human readable for the reports, which is great for uh, compliance and auditing reasons. Um, and with integrations with Azure, it's it's really easy to get started using. Um, it's baked straight into Azure Cloud Shell, so you can pop that straight open in your Azure portal. Uh, it's pre-authenticated, pre-configured. You just have to bring your tests, um, so it also makes a really good uh, environment to test and iterate in um, and Inspec also natively supports um, auditing Azure resources as well as your workloads within say virtual machines um, so you can get uh, compliance information not only on how your application is deployed and configured in a virtual machine for example but also the Azure infra infrastructure itself. So Habitat uh, integrates directly with Azure Container Registry, so you can directly deploy your container images uh, to Azure Container Registry, as well as deploy natively to Azure Kubernetes Service. Uh, and I think that the really nice thing about uh, Habitat um, is that it kind of removes um, the need for customers to make a bet on the target platform right now. I think the, the best thing, it, again, is the ability to uh, apply the same tooling and methods to your on-premise um, workloads and your existing or you know legacy workloads as well. It's it's not just about new cloud native. It's also tooling you can apply across the board. So I think um, customers should definitely be em embracing automation as much as they can uh, to standardize how they're deploying uh, and really the ability to get scale. Um, I think uh, once the using public cloud and have that availability of resources on demand uh, combined with the power of automation to ensure things are compliant uh, deployed reliably uh, they're going to get into quickly get into a cadence with their business to be able to fulfill business demands a lot quicker